we're going to get back to our card collection. If I'm going to test it, it'd be great if this had a two string. So I grabbed the two string from Pile back in chapter 13, and I'm going to paste it right here at the bottom. And it should work without any adjustments needed because we have the cards array list and has all the same syntax that Pile had. Okay, next what we're gonna do is create a subclass and this is using inheritance. Now subclasses can be a little tricky to understand, but the basics are when a class extends another class, you, this class deck, for example, will get everything that card collection has. It'll get every method card collection has. Technically, it doesn't get the private methods, uh, but it gets every other method. Uh, if you want a method to be shared with subclasses, but not external classes, that's called protected. Uh, I don't know that we're going to have to worry about that right now, uh, but I think all of our methods are public at the moment, so we have nothing to worry about. So let's go ahead and get started here. This new class is going to be called deck. And again, don't put it in chapter 13. We want to build it in chapter 14. New Java class deck. So we need to add the phrase extends card collection. It's going to go right there. All right. This just means we get everything in card collection will also be inside of deck. And we're going to put the one method in there from the book. All right, so what are we looking at? Well, it's public deck. So right away, you can tell it's a constructor. So what does this constructor do? Well, what in the world does this mean? Well, this deck is a subclass of card collection. So you can use all the methods in card collection. Normally you'd call the methods by name. However, there's one method that doesn't really have a name per se, and that's the constructor. So I want to, let's get pile out of the way. So here's card collection. I want to use the constructor right here, which didn't label. Constructor, okay. So I want to use the constructor. Now, how would I call it? You can't just call it using card collection. That's not how a constructor is called. So if you want to call the constructor of the super class, the class that that deck extends, the syntax is super. So this will call the constructor of the super class and it's going to send it label. So again, we'll go look at that. So it's going to send a label. It's going to, let's see, set the label, this.label to be label. So it'll set the label field and then it will initialize the cards array list. So you could then start adding to it. So that's what this line of code will do. Now you might be wondering, well, what about that cards? Don't we need cards? Don't we need this? Well, yes, you actually have access to this. Um, All right, so, well, technically we don't have access to it because if you look, it's private. So you can't actually access cards in the subclass because it's private. We could try to do that. Cards dot, uh, let's go. You could try to do cards dot clear, but you're gonna see cards has private access. So you can't actually access cards directly. However, we have methods like add card that are public that let us access cards using certain methods. So we have an add card, we got a way to remove cards as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So we wanna build a new deck. And of course, where we do that, well, we would do that over in our main class or main method inside of our chapter 14 class. So let's go and paste that in here. Now, if I just run this, I don't expect any output because there's no print statements. But if I sout 
deck. All right, now how did deck know how to print itself? Well, let's think about what actually happened. So here we're trying to concatenate a string, the string deck with a deck object, which forces the two string method to be used. And where's this two string method? Well, it's not inside deck. However, deck gets everything card collection has. So if the two string method is not inside deck, Java will look inside of card collection. And that is at the bottom where we just put that in there at the beginning of this video. So it's actually calling the method you're looking at, which is inside of card collection, even though we built a deck. So that's what you get when you subclass. Now, what does our constructor actually do? Well, this just loops through every suit, every rank, and fills up the deck with cards. This will fill up the deck with the standard 52 cards. Uh, and that's uh, why we're calling this deck right here. So I want to build another class now, and this class is going to be called hand. And let's see, we're going to need, I'll just copy all this. So we need another class. So we're going to right click, make sure you're on chapter 14, right click new Java class, hand. And I think I grabbed everything, including the public class. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, we got a problem here. Can I find simple get label? All right, so I know there is a label in card collection. However, it doesn't look like there's a get label method. So we could let NetBeans try to fix it. So we could create method get label in the hand class, but I have a feeling we, pr so I could do that right here, uh, but I think it would be better to put get label in the super class card collection. All right, so I'm gonna copy this get label and we're gonna to go to card collection. So I see that we have the label, but again, it's private. So I want a method to return or to get the label. So I think we have, yeah, here's a get card. We'll put it right next to get card. So it's a public, the type of variable it's gonna return is the string label. So we can just go return label. Okay, so now not only does card collection get this method because it's public, but also deck and hand get that. And now this works right here. And we need to actually test this out to see if it works. Uh, so what does this do? So we do have a constructor here. And what does a constructor do? Not much. It just calls the constructor of the superclass of card collection. Then there's a display method, which prints the label and all the cards. I think for this right here, I like these to return the string instead of instead of print it. Um, that's fine. Yeah, we can leave it like this. Uh, I will, instead of doing this, we already have the two string. And I'm going to go this dot two string. So we print the label and I'm going to make the string first. So I'm going to print the label and then the colon. So it looks like what we were expecting and then the result. And then we'll do it all in one line. All right. So it has a special method display that prints the label and the uh, two string. All right. We still haven't tested any of this. So let's go ahead and the next video, I'll run a couple tests. 
Actually, no. There's nothing exciting to see yet. I think we can see what display will do. We got to make cards change hands, and that's what we'll be doing next. Then we'll run some tests.